All right, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. So it's another live show from my garage. And uh, so I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm a little bit iffy on whether or not the, uh, my camera, my capture card, which is this right here, it uh, it was hanging down below a little bit closer to the sun. I think it was overheating. It uh, it kept um, going out on me, and so I've moved it. It's 82 degrees out here. I've got my garage door open, and uh, I'm in my garage, and it's really humid today. We're we're just about at the start of hurricane season again when it gets really humid, really hot, and. Um, big thunderheads and thunderstorms, which will be so exciting. In fact, on that note, I ordered an outdoor camera that I'm facing out over the lake that, um, that I will be able to uh, stream from that or capture that on the live shows and everything. So it's gonna be great. Yes, you guys paid for that too. So uh, with your uh, tips and donations. Now, Duke is offline. And um, I do see your chat, uh, and oh, holy shit, that was a big bumblebee. He just flew in and flew right, I'm glad he flew back out again. So, bumblebees won't hurt you, but I, I have a neighborhood wasp around here, and I haven't seen him yet today, and I'm glad, but I have the wasp spray if needed. And hopefully we're not seeing me get stung live on the show. So, okay, so... Okay, there we go. Okay, so, let's hope this works. I uh, <clears throat> am, it seems that I'm having some troubles with my uh, capture card here from my good camera. If, uh, if this keeps happening, I'm gonna switch over to my webcam. It'll be gorgeous video. It'll be absolutely vi beautiful. It's gonna suck is what's gonna happen. It's gonna suck, suck, suck. In fact, we're just gonna, at it right now because I really think that this is probably going to happen and uh, yeah my my camera is called a bison see now there it is isn't that beautiful oh yeah so let me uh, let me mute this one though oh it seems to be muted uh, man okay okay so Hopefully this continues to work. And uh, if not, we're gonna switch to a webcam. It'll be better than nothing, but uh, I've got my, yeah, it's, it's my television grade camera right up here. And uh, 
little device right here is, I think, what the problem is. So, uh, this is an external capture card, USB 3, 150 bucks, something like that, maybe 200. Um, so, oh, the audio is crackling. Oh, how is it now? Is the audio good now? So, I hope the audio is good now. So, if not, let me know. So, okay. So, anyway, okay. Now, what we're doing is, we're just going to get into it now. We are unboxing more Eve today. Uh, this pile that you see here is all I have left. You can't see all of it. It goes a couple more rows deep here, and there's some down here. But this is it. I have shipped copies, copies to ship set aside. And um, let's open one up and, and take a look at them and see what I'm doing here. So in case you don't know, I've been a business partner with CCP for 13, 14 years now. I don't know, however long it is. And it, uh, it's, been, it's been good. It's been good. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's, uh, it's been pretty good. And they told me that they were, um, that they were taking the Second Decade Collector's Editions off the market. And what you guys may not know is that stuff like this, when it goes off the market, a lot of times it just gets set to be destroyed. And so this is one of the collector's boxes right here. I just, uh, just unboxed it. And we're going to pull this stuff off, pull the sleeve off, and I'll show you what's inside. So this is what's inside. Now why am I unboxing it? Well, I'll let you know. It's because of this right here, which has codes in it. And so these codes equal, there's a mystery code in it, uh, which is a plex plus some other items. There's an items code in it, which uh, is the golden pod plus uh, like the, the Gnosis 5X BPC. And, um, and there is a bunch of other items in here. And uh, of course, these things are worth something in game. So we're opening these up and taking the codes out. There's also a dust code, which dust isn't around any longer. And there's also a new account code, which the new account code systems, they're not around any longer either since uh, Eve went freemium. And <clears throat> so anyway, that's what we're doing. We're, we, I bought all of these to take all of these out. Now, what am I doing with all the rest of the stuff? Well, there's a couple of things. One is, is that this also has a CD in it, which I've started setting them aside and uh, I haven't put it on the, the page yet, but um, uh, I've had a couple of requests for CDs, and I think I can ship the CDs anywhere in the world for like 10 bucks each. And the CD, if you haven't heard the music, come to one of the live Eve shows and see the, um, and see what um, uh, the music is. I play it every once in a while on, on the Eve shows. So, okay, I'm going to use this lid, and we're going to start stacking up these in here. Now, there's a USB rifter ship. Now, do I have another one over here? I think I do. So, this rifter ship is a, uh, it's just a little ship model. It's kind of cheap plastic. It's not like some of the other models, but it's kind of cool at the same time. You can plug it into USB and uh, it lights up. Uh, a lot of people, what they do is they plug the phone charger into it and then and then cable out to their phone or whatnot and use it as like a phone charger or whatnot. But anyway, that is, uh, that's what's in here. There's the danger game, which is, this is a tin. And uh, it's got a bunch of stuff in it from the for the danger game. It's got cardboard. Oh my God. I've been recycling the cardboard got the game boards which uh, by the way we're still shipping these in the US US continental US only hundred bucks there's a link in the description and so and it'll have the codes in it I will not have taken the codes out so there's the board for the danger game and uh, 
So now this, we're also recycling these. They are they're cart they're they're not a corrugated cardboard, but it is a cardboard. My recycling pile is somewhere on the other side of this wall. <laughs> and here is the book, the art book. Wouldn't you like to have one of these? I can tell you that that um, we've had thousands of these. I gave away a bunch of them to um, to Goodwill and stuff, and uh, so at least uh, here in the Florida area, there's a bunch in the Goodwill and everything. But it's got uh, you know first ten years of Eve on, in here. It's a pretty good book, and so anyway. Um, that is, uh, you know, kind of what we got here. More cardboard. Oh yeah. So I've been recycling as much of these, as much of this stuff as I can. You know, even breaking apart the boxes and stuff. And uh, then, yep, recycling it. So anyway, that's what's in the box. And uh, so we. Um, have just these left. I still have I still have some other ones to ship uh, that can be shipped, but um, yeah, that's what we got. So anyway, do you hear that? That's an osprey. They squeak like that once they've caught a fish. They live almost exclusively on fish, and uh, the lakes out here and everything. Um, yeah, how much for a box unopened? Hundred bucks. Ninety nine bucks. Only in the U.S., continental U.S. That's the only place we can ship them in. So, only in the continental U.S. Sorry, CCC, I don't think you're in the U.S., are you? Yeah. So, we're not shipping them uh, overseas. There's a lot of issues with shipping them overseas. And uh, it's caused a lot of problems. And so, we stop trying to do that unless we're doing one as a gift. So... All right, another box done, huh? So I'm taking these, getting gonna get a good stack of them here, and then we'll go through and uh, open each one of those, kind of almost like an assembly line type thing, one action at a time. So can't do Canada either; it's international. So, and we're only doing the continental U.S. because Hawaii. You know, it adds like another 50 bucks to ship it to Hawaii. And to Alaska, I imagine, would be around the same thing. And to ship them into Canada, here's what happens. They still have all the custom stuff to go through and everything. And, you know, then uh, they look it up as to what they think it's worth. They see that these originally sold for like 300 bucks or something. Two, yeah, two or 300. And then they give you a import tax of, I don't know, what is it, 40 or 50 percent? And so uh, many times we've shipped them up to Canada and then what happened was is uh, they came back because they got refused because they wanted like another 75 bucks at the border uh, and then we've paid an enormous amount of shipping to ship international and customer wants a refund. I mean, then we lose, we lose all the money on it. So, um, yeah, I would have liked to have, but CCP actually had the same problem. So, yep, they actually had the same problem. And that's part of why we've made them available digitally. So, you can get them from our store. There's a link in the description for that, if you want one. Um, so, anyway, I do personalize these. If you buy one of these boxes and I ship it to you, You'll get a you'll get a note in there from me. So
Hey. No signal for you. Um, I think my capture thing is overheating. So, it's pretty warm out here. And, and I think that's what's happening because I've done, I've used this uh, equipment before. Okay, so you hear me okay? We doing okay now? Man, this darn thing. I might have to switch to my webcam, which just really sucks, because the mic is gonna really suck too. The mic on, that I got on this other camera here is a really nice mic, and it just does not compare. So, oh, they're ECMing my connection, yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know. The wind is blowing a little bit. Um, maybe I can sandwich it here, just uh, in between there. We'll see. So that it's getting more airflow there? I don't know. I need to put like fins on it. Maybe that's what I need to do. Um, yeah, if it if it if it keeps dying like this, I'll actually probably end up going and grabbing another webcam that I have, and uh, and we'll use it. It's more like static. Oh, really? Hey, how's it sound now? Really buzzy. Okay. I think it's all heat related. I think it's all heat related. I don't know. But I suspect. So it was, uh, when I started the show, it was 82. It's probably about 83 or 84. It's going to be around 90 today. And high humidity. We have thunderstorms forecast tonight, which will be interesting. I got an outdoor camera. Um, I got an outdoor camera that is uh, for uh, storm season, and uh, it's wireless and everything. It's gonna be cool. I'm hoping to show. Can you guys hear me through this? Hold on a momento. Going to get another mic. Good.
Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, how about now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? This is like the Verizon fingers. Can you hear me now? Okay. So, hopefully this is working now. Let's see here. I can kind of see it. Can you see it? Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes, you can. Excellent. Okay. It's a different mic. It's not nearly as good, but I'm glad you can hear me. Um, so, okay. Uh, $79 camera wins. <laughs> it's just, it's a Logitech camera. So, okay. Guess it's better than nothing. Okay, um, you put the art, uh, art book on the shop, you're interested, I can uh, send you, no, it's the wasp. Hold on guys, I'm in battle mode. I tell you, this wasp is fucking right here. God damn him. You see him? He's on camera. I don't want to spray my camera. I'm waiting for him to land someplace so I can nail him. Oh, shit. It's too close to my camera where he's landed. Got him. I know. Too bad you guys didn't see that. I'm that awesome. I did it so quickly you didn't even see. It was right behind the camera. Anyway, uh, wasp is down. They're big here. They're like this big. Yeah, if I was out fishing, they'd even be even bigger. Okay. I got to go wash my hands really quick, just in case I got any of that shit on me. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure I nailed the guy. You hit him once with that stuff and they go down. I don't know where he went though. Well, if he's still alive, I'm sure he's pissed. And he'll get me later. Okay, so sorry about the interruption. This is Marky in real life. <laughs> I'm a killer, the poor wasp. Holy shit. Red, you come over here and you negotiate with the wasp for this territory. That's that's my idea. You're invited over anytime. Um, oh, you hear the wind? Yeah, that's one thing about this other mic. It doesn't uh, it does not cut the wind at all. It's made for indoor use. There's just a little bit of a breeze here. 
They don't understand what's going on. Neither does anybody else. Don't feel left out. So, you know, it's just it's just hanging out with Marky, and doing whatever he does. It was just wasp killer a moment ago. Yeah, electronics melting down. Wasp trying to kill me. He wasn't trying to kill me. He just he, I'm sure he just wanted to survive here and live. But I wasn't having none of it. I do not want to be friends. Did you guys see the picture of the gator that I posted in Discord? He was in my backyard this morning. He's about five foot. That's no lie. There's no embellishment there. Posted a link in the general in Discord this morning. So he was sitting out at our back, our uh, backyard. Gotta love living in Florida. Oh yeah, there's no Discord command. Oh, I don't know if I do. I have the Discord link in my description. Actually, I don't. Um, Discord.gg forward slash Marky Dragon. Maybe one of the mods want to link it. That would be nice. All right. As soon as I get this row unboxed of the first cardboard set, we'll uh, break them down even further. I'm excited. I got another camera coming tomorrow. It's arriving tomorrow. It's a. Uh, it'll do 1080p and. It's an outdoor camera, so might take me a couple of days to get it mounted. I'm not sure, but an outdoor camera, and I'm excited about that because it gets really stormy here. Here in the Tampa area, we have the second most lightning in the world, so, well, Yep, garage was full of Eve. It's now getting less so much. And it is hot out here. That's why my other stuff was melting. Little ice water out here. Again, there's so many bugs out here in Florida. I always, uh, if I bring water outside or in the garage or whatnot, always have something with a cap. I don't need any wasp surprise in my drink. You can't post link here? Here's CCC. I'll give you a, make you a mod. Oops. There you go, CCC, you're now a mod. You should be able to post links now. At least I think. I don't know. It's discord.gg forward slash Marky Dragon. Even if your mod it doesn't allow you to? Uh, yeah, he just did it. It does. Everybody congrats to CCC on being the newest mod on YouTube. And thank you, buddy. I see the link. I see it came up the link. He says, nope. Came up with a link for me. Yeah, there's the link. Why do I have so many of these? I bought all the rest of the stock in the world of these. So, oh, it says error, try again. Well, shit. Do you think you need a bachelor's degree to be successful in life? No. I just 
just think you need to be an action taker. Someone who gets shit done. It's first prerequisite being an entrepreneur or just being successful in general. Because if you're lazy, you just don't get stuff done, then where are you? You know? What have you got then? Nothing. These are E Collector's Editions. The second decade editions. I bought all the rest of the stock when they discontinued them. So I'm opening them up. And um, primarily what I'm doing is I'm extracting the codes out of them and recycling most everything else. Although we have, you know, like the ships for sale and stuff. Somebody needs a big fleet of ships, they'll make you a good deal. I have a thousand of them here. Can you imagine having a thousand rifters in your house? Where would you put them all? Well, I'm glad that that wasp landed. The other day when I was working out here, it wasn't on camera or anything. But that sucker wouldn't land. He just kept buzzing me. Finally, he drove me out of, out of working in the garage here. Oh, I see you see my uh, camera. You ever see this is the that's the cover on the on the other mic. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, it's as far down as it goes that way. Okay. Oh, let's see here. I don't know. I was trying to get that other mic out of the picture. It works for the moment. Could put it like right up here looking straight down at me or something. Probably not. The wasp is back. You got static from the mic now. Maybe just while I was handling it. I'm in Florida. It's really hot here today. Something's buzzing. Oh, it could be buzzing. There's only there's nothing plugged in. Are you guys sure something's buzzing? Still static. I don't understand. I don't know where it would be coming from. Like a weed eater. Probably pick... Okay. So is the sound gone now? Because if it is, then it's the fan on my laptop. Yeah. So, it's still here. What? It's gone. Shit, I don't know what any of you are saying. When I pick it up, it's gone. It's got to be fanned from the laptop. There's my motorcycle back there. What do you guys think? That's my gold wing. Take that out for ride occasionally. Really, uh, really enjoy it. Hey. I may just move it back over to the other camera. Yeah. Now, I, uh, 
I enjoy that bike, let me tell you. So, it, uh, one of the few nice things that I have. Here, let me uh, rearrange things here. I unplugged the other the other deal because it's uh okay how nah, about that just completely unplugged the other one at least with a little webcam I can place it anywhere. Believe me, we can ride curves. It's not a sport bike, but that is the most sporty cruiser I have ever um, driven. And I can lean pretty low with it. I can lean a hell of a lot lower than I, than you can in a Harley. So I've ridden a big Harley too. So am I gonna make profit out of this? Yes. So yeah, this is, um, no, actually, I bought this bike after the divorce. So, uh, I didn't have any transportation. Sold my car stuff. And uh, so, bought a motorcycle. I was living in Mississippi. It was warm enough to ride most of the time, but it also had a rainy season, kind of like here. So... I upgraded to this one. I've had that for five years now. It's all paid off. I don't get to ride it as much as I want to. But I do go out riding a lot of times on Sundays. Today being Sunday, hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to start unboxing these. And uh, so let's see here. I don't know how to get a better angle here. I guess maybe we're just going to remove the camera muff and I'm going to put it back up on this other camera. Because it's the best spot for it. And I can point it all over the place if I need to. Okay. That's that's okay. That works. That's a little bit better. Why don't I play Worm Online? Because um, I play Shroud of the Avatar and I play Eve Online. What more do I need? Well, maybe there's Crowfall. These are special editions. And these right here are what I'm pulling out of them. So I do have ships in them. And I'm going to start uh, stacking these somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet. But maybe start stacking them right down here. Yeah, so we're pulling for the codes. Unfortunately, we still have to type up the codes. All the other codes that we sell are uh, electronically generated. Being that uh, these, we actually type up the codes. Uh, every once in a blue moon, we make a typo. Darn it. Yeah. That'll be on online. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people enjoying it. What items can you recommend starter making money in Jita? Hmm. Well, there are uh, I don't know. What what do you mean making money in Jita? You go out and mine and sell your stuff in Jita. You go out rat and sell the stuff in Jita. Are you looking to buy and sell? Market trading? So I do have uh, some videos on that. So 
There are so only so many gaming hours in a month, right? Um, so, uh, Audrey, uh, there is a link in the description to get one of these boxes. Continental U.S. only. Sorry, if you're out, if you're outside of the U.S., can't ship one to you. So, I can get you the mystery code and item codes on the store. Item codes right now are on sale through the end of today. Ten dollars off. They're normally at forty bucks, and they're thirty right now. And uh, they have the golden pod, which goes for over two million or two billion, I mean. And then there's the um, the Gnosis Five B BPC in it. We got devalued a little bit whenever uh, I gave the Gnosis away as gifts, but we're slowly coming back up again. The special thing about those is you can take them out into Null and you can build them for one Tritanium each. So it's one of the nice things about them. Especially if you go into some place that doesn't have much resources. I do not play SWG. I did play it originally when it came out. I don't play it anymore. We're working with Gordon Walton, who um, was a uh, producer of uh, Star Wars Galaxies. Working with him on Crowfall, which will be out into this year. That'll be a lot of fun. It has a lot of Star Wars Galaxies flavor stuff in it. But you didn't know Star Wars Galaxies had a flavor. Well, I tell you, it's warm out here. It's getting really warm. See how hot it is. It's currently 84. It's going to be 90. There you go. We got thunder thunder showers this afternoon. We'll see how that goes. We get a lot of lightning here. It gets pretty scary sometimes too. Whole house shakes. No, there's no Twitch stream for this today. Only, only YouTube. I don't know if I have enough horsepower on the laptop to stream simultaneously to both, and I certainly can't run the bot and everything at the same time. So, a little bit simpler show. Yeah, at least we're supposed to get rain today. Uh, we're kind of in a drought here in Florida, which sounds kind of odd, but it's true. The The lake is the lowest I've ever seen it. I have a lake in the front yard and a lake in the backyard, and it's the lowest I've ever seen it. So, in fact, uh, you can see out my front yard right here. Nice view of my garbage can. You can see the lake out there. Maybe it's more of a pond. I don't know, but <laughs> just wipes it off on my shirt. I think I think this is really dirty. <sighs> there we go. Cleaned it off. Yeah, I noticed that there was a smudge when we were showing it out there distance-wise. What are we unboxing? Eve Second Decade Edition. I got plenty of them.
Got any new business partnerships in the work? Yeah, I do. And we're not ready to tell about it yet, but it's with someone many of you know. And uh, so that'll be announced probably in a couple of weeks. <coughs> but the announcement won't be coming from me, it'll be coming from the other person. Just the way that this uh, kind of partnership works. So that's the plan. And if it works out well, we may replicate it out with a few more people. People who are leaders in what they do. Any reason for the unboxing? Yes. So I bought all the remaining stock of uh, these Eve boxes, this particular version. And uh, we're taking out the codes and they're going up for sale on our store. So that's what I'm pulling out of these. Rifter ship. We got this right here, which has a couple of codes in it. And those are what uh, we're taking out, making them available on our store. So, what do you all normally do on a Sunday? Me? I normally take the day off and don't do anything work-related, and here I am doing work-related stuff. I'll have to make it up on another day. Yes, metal boxes have a board game in them. It's called the Danger Game. the danger game. So I'm going to have to remember that uh, my uh, video capture thing can't handle the heat. It kind of makes it so that I can't do outdoor stuff in the summer live. I can do it with webcams like I'm doing, but not with, uh, not with my big camera, which kind of sucks because the, the Picture quality is just so much more amazing. You know, I thought about live streaming on my bike. You can just see the front of it over there. I've thought about that. Um, I'd have to live stream off of like my my uh, phone, which I've done before. I'd have to mount it someplace where it can. See, and it's not going to fall off. It's an awful expensive thing to drop, especially while you're going down the freeway. It'd be obliterated. Uh, and part of the problem is, is that I'd probably get out of cell range pretty quickly. And so I'm not sure how good the quality would be. But I have done, uh, I have done some stuff before that is... Uh, um, I've done some I've done some recordings before on the bike. But I've only done recordings and then and then shared the playback. Yes, I bought the last of the, of the stock. No, it was more than 2000 copies. umbrella over it. I'm in the shade right now and it was overheating. I have to have some fins on it or something to dissipate the heat away. 
But the problem is, is that it didn't have direct sunlight and it was getting this warm. So I figure when it gets over 80 degrees or so, it's going to have that problem. I'm responding to you guys. I'm not on Twitch right now. How much did it set me back? Um, it was a lot of money. It takes a lot of money to buy that many copies of these. You know, we sell them for a hundred bucks um, for a complete box shipped anywhere in the U.S. And so originally, what they were two hundred or two fifty, something like that. Yeah, and of course I got a good deal buying them all bulk in one shot. That's how business works. I bought all of them because they have mystery code and item code in them. And uh, the mystery code it has a plex in it, so it's at least worth that. And then the item codes have uh, a golden pod, which goes for about $2 billion. And they have the uh, Gnosis 5X BPC, which uh, goes for, I don't know, $150 million, something like that. Yeah. So this is, I mean, this is what I do. This is how I've made a living for a long time. I do things like this. I don't deal typically too much with physical product though. Most all of it is, uh, is digital. But uh, this, I knew it'd be a lot of work, but I knew it'd be good in the long run. And we figured it'd take five years to sell everything. So, yeah, I missed a rifter two boxes back. Well, shit. Really? Someone didn't miss one of these. That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. The rifters, I have a thousand of them here still. I may just give them all the goodwill. I don't know. We'll see. Three now? Oh. God, you guys are going to make me doubt myself and make me think, oh, I've got to go check all these boxes to see if I left anything in them. Well, at least there's a little bit of breeze coming in now. We've got storms going to be moving in in a while. Actually, feels like it's cooling down a little bit. Either that or just a good breeze. Sell the rifters back to CCP for Vegas. That would be interesting. Or maybe I should go to Vegas and I should take all the rifters with me and I should just give them away for free to everybody there. That would be good too. Well, the danger games are so freaking heavy that nobody wants to play it. I actually went to a board game shop, and uh, they rated only a 5 out of 10. And uh, so with that rating, it's actually just really sits in the middle land, the mediocre land. So it's not so bad that nobody ever plays it, but it's not rated high enough that people go out of their way to find it. 
And so I offered a whole bunch of copies to several different shops and none of them wanted any of them, not even for like a buck a piece. So, um, so the danger game, you know, has done, done well, but, um, yeah, it's just not as desirable as some of the other stuff out there. You do three sieges and try the avatar and knock the balls dropped anything. We got really lucky on the last show, didn't we? Red got that Cabalist. Uh, it's the Cabalist uh, shroud or cloak. Or not, it's not a cloak, it's more of a shroud. Yeah. That and the masks are probably the best parts of those. It's just an amazing piece he got. I don't even know how much those sell for either. I already pulled everything out. Okay. All right. Well, folks. I'm going to do this last one. We are not going to make it through all the boxes today. We'll do another show like this maybe in a couple of weeks. And I'll uh, have things better set up for cameras. Um, all those camera problems in the beginning is horrible. Kind of wrecks the show if you're watching, a watching the video portion of it. People be like going, what the hell, and take off. I would. So... Anyway, uh, through the end of today, the item code is on sale, 10 bucks off. There's a discount code listed on it. And uh, so if you get one, make sure you apply that other discount code to it, and it'll save you 10 bucks. You get it for 30 instead of 40 And uh, <clears throat> so that'll be going off sale first thing in the morning. It will no longer be on sale. And... Um, yeah, and if you want one of the shipped copies, there's a link in the description for that. And uh, so, did I pull the stuff out of this one already? See, here I am talking to y'all, and I don't even remember. So, anyway, I'll figure out the camera stuff a little bit better. In fact, you know what? Maybe the next one, I'll have a couple cameras. So, I can put uh, a couple cameras a couple different places or whatnot. Switch them up. Switch them around. And... Should be able to have. I should have the uh, outdoor cam up and running by then too. So, okay, everybody, thanks for being here today. I know it's not a real long show, but we we're just hanging out, and uh, so it's all good. Make sure you subscribe if you want uh, game. Uh, let's see, Marky Dragon gameplay is uh, my gameplay stuff, and then uh, here's my commentary stuff, mostly business talk, but some game stuff too. Anyway, thank you everybody for being here. Take care, go enjoy your Sunday, and uh, see you all on the next show in a couple days.